Um, hello, YouTube world. YouTube community. This is your boy, uh, Crip Sang, man, tapping in. Compton chapter. I was just going over my, uh, my YouTube page, right? And, uh, I was checking out that video on the, on the, on the movies, you know. You know, Colors, Boys to the Hood, Minister Society, etc. And at the end of that video, man, I spoke on my Brown Brothers, man, you know what I mean? And I remember, man, I had a, one of my subscribers, or if not a subscriber, somebody that tunes into my channel. He said, hey, Sad, can you uh, drop a video on the, on the Mexicans? That was crits and stuff, you know. He say, especially out of Santana, we hear y'all had quite a few. And we did. And we did. But um like in the beginning, homie, in the in the early days, I really didn't know of no Mexicans that was crips. You know, I'm talking about like as early as 70, 71, you know, when I recognized the crest. And I never really had known of no Mexicans to be crips. Now, I known them to be in our area and gang members themselves, you know, from their videos and, and stuff like that, but n not none to be crip, really. You know what I mean? Now, Back in the early stages, I remember it was a few white boys that I knew that was Crips. Uh -uh. We had white boy Bill in our hood. Uh, we had um, Strawberry from Seven Four. Lived on Rose. Now, if Strawberry wasn't white, he would look like it. You know what I mean? And it was some brothers, too, because they used to come over there. And, uh, uh, but I never really have known any Mexican, to be honest. Now, when I went to the Youth Authority in 77, I say around 78, I start hearing this guy, Juju, in the hood, you know, Mexican guy. Now, I can't pronounce a Juju name or whatever, but he's a friend of mine's on Facebook. But I heard the name Juju. The Mexican home, you know, they say, say Juju down like a motherfucker, Juju this, Juju that. You know, my brother and them, you know, everybody that spoke his name spoke highly of Juju. He said, yes, that's the homie, good, he Mexican, but he down like a motherfucker, whoop, 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 you know what I mean? And, um, uh, so when I got home around 19, 1980, September 26th, like I said, my mama's birthday, I had the honor to meet Juju. And when I met Juju, we had other Mexicans at that time that was claiming SBC. We, we got, we had little Louie and Chewy. I got them in the tombstone. I feel like pulling my my shirt down. We had a back house behind us that my daddy rented out to their family. And his dad was Louise, and he was Little Louise. We used to call him Little Louise. Now him and Chewy got killed on spring between uh, Compton Boulevard and Palmer by some Anthes Park boy. They they found out he was living in the hood up in the apartment and they was who banging on that dude. Yeah, nigga, fuck you. We know you're in the hood. Nigga, we're going to get you. And all this shit here. So dude called his people. Like, man, come get me. They, they, they tripping, right? So when the car come up to get him, he come out. And he pop on the homies. Bop, 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 and knocked them two down. Right there on spring. Broad daylight. And took off. Now, I don't know if they ever comprehend the dude or whatever. And arrest him for them killings or whatever. But that's what happened to Louie and Chewy. But like I said, when I came home, it was more than just Juju now. It was maybe maybe a good 
Shit, 40 of them. Because we had Mingo, uh, Benito, uh, fuck, I can't get all these names out. Who else was around? And then they had a strong camaraderie with the uh, Linwood Vario Paragons, the LVPs. And the LVPs used to hang with the the Willow Street SBCs, which was had we had Mexican homies now. You understand? And you know, so not only did we have on Willow Streets, we had Rose Street, we had Pete, we had Chino, we had Rab, we had little TJ and his brother, they hung around with us. Uh who else we had on? Was it any on Spring as well? I'm sure it was. My brain ain't warmed up quite yet. But yeah. Then along with us, the Pine Rouge had Mexicans. Am Street had a little Louie. <laughs> He's a Mexican guy. He's a thorn in our side, too, man. Lil Louie from Am Street. He's a Mexican guy. I ain't gonna throw his business all out there, but hey, shit. He, he, he responsible for, <laughs> for, for a few actions against us, bro. You know what I mean? And not only against us, but some of our allies and friends, man, who, you know, was happy to be hanging in the hood with us, and he came through and tagged one of those. You know what I mean? And that homie rest in peace. I mean, not behind him, but that homie rest in peace now, too. But, but yeah, I mean, and then, you know, not only us, Palmer Block had one. They had Lalo over there. Uh, Limon from Lime Hood. I don't know if he was exactly Mexican or not. <laughs> See the city bus. She don't want to ride the city bus. Because she's new to the town, I advise Look for truth, the ears are lost in the sound Brains are lost in the cloud, dead from all of the smoke That's the reason why the ostrich hides his head in the ground That's the reason why the monster even puts on a mask And we turn the city green to blend in with the grass The city scene made a crash, I fell in love with it twice Had to tell her goodbye cause she fell in love with the night I couldn't keep up, I tried to bring her down from the sky But the clouds were so nice that she took a nap for a while And when she woke up, I finally had a kid and a lady Bone told me saw the other day with the baby ain't life crazy i think about it once in a while when it's cloudy outside and the sun goes none of these drugs do what they supposed to yeah and what's the point of hurting people that you're close to yeah most of my life i've been following stars knowing i ain't really had to go that far come to find out it's the truth i already know yeah Spinning out a cylinder, moving, I'm in reverse Committing crimes of passion, judging jury at first But I love that girl, been my woman since day one Had a couple of kids in the house, the job done So what happened while we ain't loving no more? Maybe I should take some blame instead of taking the score But me and more don't go, I'm begging you gotta change We can work it out even through pleasure and pain You gotta chill with the liquor girl, you get too friendly Who you talking to baby, that's my man Henry That's what I'm talking about baby, just sit your ass Damn. You wanted to have some fun, me take you out on the town So you can shake a tail feather, maybe we cut a rug Drinking and driving on the low key, rum in a jug Give me a hug, wrong nigga baby You drive your nigga crazy in the morning Won't remember shit, I know it's kinda hazy None of these drugs do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point of hurting people that you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah 
ready, ready set, set, go. go. Put your seatbelt on, up in the way we bout to go. We bout to the road go. is gon' get windy, promise not to lose control. control. The final destination's bound to captivate your soul. And so, many MCs inspired to be one of the baddest motherfuckers to touch the MIC. Then the law came life, now get dreams deferred. All the years of writing rhymes captured in a blur. My ponders contemplating the worst. Put all your energy into the music, now you're looking for thirst to be quenched. That's a bitch. Paying dues upon dues Keep on telling yourself I'm making others believe in you too And it's true You can make it if you try There's levels to everything Better believe it Cause you can deny it And never achieve it It won't come easy Just put in the work And know your worth Continue to rise Cause all we do is capitalize None of these drugs Do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point Of hurting people That you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah And then of course, you know, we had Samoan Crips running around Mainly Park Village but Southside had one, Vapoos, rest in peace, was my nigga, man. Vapoos, rest in peace, loved one. Loved one, rest in peace, man. I knew everybody know Vapoos, man. The Samoan from the South. <laughs> Shit. Vapoos wasn't no motherfucking joke, homie. Yeah. Vapoos wasn't no joke. But I believe Hollywood, man, played a role in guys other than black wanting to become a member of the Crips or the Bloods, you know, because Hollywood had um, glorified the Crips and the Bloods mainly more than others, you know. You know what I mean? As far as Hollywood, you know, the, the big the big screen, you know. But now you got all these little low budgets and Netflix and all these two B's and all kind of thing. You get all kind of black gangster films and it up to date type shit now. You know, I've seen the boy murder, murder them on a, what, a, a plug love or, or something and shit like that. I've seen a few of those. You know, like them them type of black shows. Gangster shows, you know what I mean? Game banging shit. But in the beginning, it was Hollywood glorifying him putting up the gang shit out there, you know, like with colors, boys in the hood, minister society, using, you know, you know, some name brand cats in, you know, in that thing, you know, MC8 was in a minister society, and, and, and MC8 in, in the Gangster Chronicles, man, you know, this is y'all boy Chris Sackhook from Compton, man, oh shit, I, I would love to sit down and do a shit with y'all dudes, man, do a little interview with y'all, man, answer a few questions from you guys. So, you know, holler at me, man. I, I already respond to MC8 if that's him commenting on YouTube. I don't know if that's him or not, but I dropped a number on you, could. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, I mean, and you know, and, and through all that, you know, with, with the, with the, with the, us getting Mexican homies and becoming part of our thing, you know, we, we incorporated, um, them into our stuff, you know, like the word loke. Everybody think loke mean crip and all that and this, cause loke mean, loke mean, loke is short for loco. You understand? Loke mean you crazy. And most niggas who put the loke to their name stood on that. You understand? You know, you, you let a motherfucker know. <laughs> you with the business, huh? You know. And then, like I say, uh, when we started having the brown with us, you know, and they speak the Spanish and do their Spanish saying, yeah, local, you know, and they holler at us. You know, black folks, we used to shorten our slang, cuz, like, how we used to call a nigga Buster. Man, niggas is Buster. See, what, what a lot of niggas don't know, the term buster come from side buster. 
from reading Louis 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 Amores and them shit kicking shit kickers Western Western novels. We used to read them Western novels in jail, and they said call motherfuckers side bus and side buses. And so we used that term to address the red teams. Because what about them side buses? You know. And so it went from side bus to the bus. We just cut it short. You know, so we started using slang. You know, what's up that bus you know? Instead of saying local, we said, what's up, love? You know what I mean? And like I say, cause the first two that I recognize for incorporating the Brown Brother stuff into our, you know, into our stuff with us was either cause the Watts Baby Lokes or the Gray Streets Watts or the Salos the 107 Hoovers now the Salos was using the Lokes Loke in their name the Watts Baby Lokes incorporated into the hood into their hood Watts Baby Lokes WBLC you know what I mean now as far as Compton go, we we weren't on the local shit at first. That was in L.A. That was going on before it got over to us. That was in L.A. Now, when I was going over there in the Salo, I was running with Big Smiley. I was running with Big Smiley at the time for 107. Me and Smiley is still like this. The only motherfucker I ever visited in prison, cuz, other than my nephew, was Big Smiley. From 107 Hoover. I, I went to Old Folsom and visit Cuz. You know, we 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 was the talk of the visiting room at the time. Cause word was out, because one trustee hit me up when I go over there to give me a cuz and grub and shit out these machines. One trustee hit me up. He said, Hey homie, where you from? I said, Compton, cuz Santana Block. He said, Oh, you pulled the big homie out from Hoover? I said, Yeah, man. That's my brother. He said, right, right. So I got me a smiley shit and brought it to the table. So, you know, word gonna spread. Ooh, Compton pulled out Hoover. So me and Big Smiley, cuz, we jabbing, jabbing, doing our thing. That was my nigga, cuz I wrote, Smiley said, cuz, you, you bombarded me with letters. Say, that sends her. He said, cuz, I had to send letters home. I used to write Smiley something, send him three a week sometimes. You know, you know what I mean? That, that, that's my loved one there, man. And he home, he doing real well. And I love him, man. And Smiley, because I lost my contact, but I'm going to dig my own phone out, because I find him. I call him. But yeah, then what's the first two, because that I know would, like, incorporate that, it, you know, into the thing. So when I was hanging around the Salos and Lil Devil, and well, I say, Lil, 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 what's up, Lil, say, say, Lil, Lil. I used to, I used to love the shit out of the devil used to. <laughs> How he got at us one day. Me and Sammy was swinging up in the dead end on the 108th off of Vermont. And uh, so we trying to turn around and make the park and shit, girl. And the devil was up the street. He see us. He like, what, what, what's up, Loke? Say low, Loke. Say low, Loke. Loke. What's up? <laughs> Cause I'm sad from Santana. Cause I'm trying to find Smiley. There, he said, "Oh, cut he up the street, homie." He said, "What's up? Say he talking about you all the time." So me and Sammy, we get out the court and we walk up the street up uh, with Lil Devil for Salo, and we get up there. Uh, big Smiley, Big Move, Big Move was alive at the time. Frank was there. Uh, uh, Goon him was there. It, it was a few homies. Cause the, the little homie, the, the little bitty homie. Straight crazy, straight killer. Man, what's the little homie night? I can't think of, but I, I'm at to ask Smiley about that dude, man. I wonder whatever happened to him, man. He was a little young dude, but he was on it, man. This little nigga was on it, though, huh? That little nigga was on it. And any time while we stood out and enjoy ourselves or whatever, he didn't drink, do nothing. He just kept us covered, man. And he... And he didn't play with that shit. He kept his cup. Man. He was like, right on, little honey. You know what I mean? But boy, we had some good times on the hunt. Nathan did. And I even brought a Burdock over there, J Dog over there, a couple old homies over there. We go over there and hang out and shit with him, cuz. 
<laughs> we used to have a ball over here. But yeah, when I was hanging out with the Salos, I started putting Moke on my name. And like I tell y'all, I hit up because I used to write Sag Low. SPC, Sag Low, Road Street, SPC, Low, Low, put them on my shirt, you know, all this shit. And then Compton got the billing on the low. Now, I think it was a homie from Park Village that did the L-O-C-C. Then the Compton niggas got to doing the L-O-C-C to let you know this loc is coming out of Compton. You know what I mean? So a lot of people start doing loc, and then my hood do the lock lock. You know, they L-O-C-C is for block. They just don't use the boot, the B, and they don't use the K. You know what I mean? So they, they mock you in my hood. They say, lock, lock, homie. And, you know, at first I was like, oh, what what well, a lock got to do with it? Because I wouldn't understand it. And they had to kidding me. They said, no, say, because we just took the B off of the block and the K off the end of them, put the other C on them. So we say, lock, lock, for block, block. I said, okay, cuz. Understood. So <laughs> when little homies got me, lock, lock, I get back out, lock, lock. You know what I mean? So there it is, cuz. But, uh, that's the best I can give y'all on that on that history, man. Now, as far as everybody else who had some or whatever, they have to tell you that, man. You know what I mean? But all I can tell you is, man, is I think that Hollywood played a role with other guys who want to be crippling blood. You know what I mean? Because bloods had them too. So I hope that helps. Yeah, may God bless and protect each and every last one of us from all evils because it's plenty here on this earth. As the time goes by and the earth rotates, we gon' fly high up to outer space. And we will never fall down. I'm one with the universe, call me the sound. The bass booming in your speaker with the microphone, I possess it's a heater. You better drop it, let go. You can't touch my beats or my flow. Nigga, Kevin Smith, my name, but not the director, we ain't the same, man. I'm a pimp by nature, inside of me is a god, the creator. Pursuing my dreams, cause anything is possible, you know what I mean I wanna live comfortable, but gotta be clean But working every day from 9 to 5 in my thing I feel like a trap, can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time, overload, I'm in trouble I feel like I'm trapped, can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time, overload, I'm in trouble one by one we start to subtract them Separate facade from who really bought that action Feel like I'm trapped In the room without a key Four walls surrounding me Stripping my identity Got me in the bubble to observe and deceive Take away my culture and my nationality Talking about double jeopardy and yeah. Double standard to killing my folks Like it don't even matter And when we gather Disgusted by the charades Bullets spray the crowd Target practice in the game No accountability So who bears the blame They want to see us violence And justify the change Back to how it used to be Obey or you get beat It's a different time You fuck with mine You feel as heat Not a threat It's a promise Real shit Got the music as a platform For I awareness I feel like a trap Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload I'm in trouble I feel like I'm trapped Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload I'm in trouble let me out of this box I'm a claustrophobic robot Who knows not what he does Cause they program my thoughts And they tell me support this And hate that person If I don't then I'm crucified And made to be worthless Does a penny with two holes in it Have a purpose When he smiles They don't really know What's under the surface I'm a product of pain Racism and cocaine I never tooted once But it's all in my veins That shit is all in my genes See, it's my destiny This is nothing new kid I'm just an old recipe A boring story That you've heard hundreds of times Blah 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 Wham 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 Hate my life And my parents both suck I'll never be like them Then you grow up, get married, and end up just like them For the most part, it's our fault we're trapped in this bitch Shit, they gave us the blueprint, our dumb asses they I feel this. like I'm trapped Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload, I'm in trouble I feel like I'm trapped Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time 
overload, I'm in trouble. Trouble, trouble, trouble.